What's good, YouTube? Chris here, back with another video. Be touching on my last trip that I took to the Philippines. Uh, I'll be covering, uh, you know, where I sat on the plane and so forth. The reason why I chose that, the bus. Uh, I'll give you an image of what it looked like once I landed. And uh, I do gotta, off the top, apologize um, for the footage. It might not be as clear and it might be some different angles and so forth but this is just a bunch of random videos that i put together um at the beginning of the trip i will also be doing another video at the ending of the trip to show you basically um what had happened and why we had to leave so fast so this was supposed to be a, a long trip for me but after 10 days we had to go ahead and leave which everybody knows the reason why we had to leave due to the current uh, the current uh, pandemic that's going on throughout the world so here i am inside of uh you know philippine airlines gate waiting for my trip waiting to get on the plane you know just you know kind of just recording stuff around this is going to be a heavy trip i was going to do a lot of videotaping but got cut short um carpet got pulled out from up under me basically uh when i least expected it so it was a lot of stuff that i wasn't able to do because of you know what was going on with the uh the covid situation and stuff like that still had a great time but didn't get to do everything that i wanted to do so now coming up i'm gonna we're gonna fade into uh walking on the plane you know after you get on the plane and so forth um well for me you know my trips uh the last four times i've been out to asia I've flown with China Airlines and I would, which is a Taiwanese based airline, and I would always book seats in the back of the plane. They have a three three rows of two seats set up in the back, which I really enjoy because technically I've sat in some of these seats that we're passing on each side, aisle seat. I always love the aisle seat. And, you know, you're getting bumped all night or, you know, hit by the well yeah you're getting bumped people passing by you know um stewardesses you know serving food and stuff like that so um i chose to do this this time you know well, i chose the back of the plane once i tried it once and i fell in love you know yeah a lot of people don't like to sit in the back of the plane because you you know sometimes you can be the first to get on but you're the last to get off you know which if you're trying to make a connection it could be a bad situation you know you might end up missing your flight so you got to be very uh, picky with how you choose your layovers and stuff like that if you have a connecting flight and so forth but here it is back of the plane I'm gonna give you a quick shot of what it looks like from the two seat to the three seat you can see the space that's provided and I'm also gonna you know go over you know and show you see how some of the people are walking past and that's what you got to look forward to all that space for them people to pass and you don't have to worry about being bumped or only you got to do is basically get up as if your neighbor has to go to the restroom and that's technically one verse person versus two which is not really an issue so here i am just uh kind of going over some stuff and i am going to show you example i mean all people that fly they know the armrest lifts up but this i think is pretty cool because it's a two seat row you can kind of stretch out a little bit and stretch your leg out and you don't have to worry 14 hours is a long flight um, this clip right here, I've landed in the Philippines. It is a quick image of what customs looked like once I got there. It was packed like crazy. It took about an hour and a half to two hours to get out of there. But anyways, once I cleared customs and I got outside, um, this is basically what it looked like outside. This is the point-to-point -point bus I spoke about in earlier videos. Um, sometimes when you get picked up from the airport, it can be as much as... 65 to 70 dollars depending on what the the exchange rate is and so forth well this right here was 350 pesos it's between 350 pesos and 450 pesos i believe the 450 peso buses are the ones that have bathrooms on them and then also they have the 450 peso price for like peak hours and so forth um this was about i want to say six or seven or eight o'clock in the morning I forgot what time it was but uh, it was early in the morning um, this is an angle for me coming out I went to the restaurant while we were waiting for the bus to depart and in case you don't come from the other way you know which the original way I came 
um, you know, if you come from this side, just look for Bay 11. It's at Terminal 1, and you just look for the Genesis Transport Services, point to point. They should have the booth right there. And um, you be, you know, set up. You pay your ticket once you get on the bus. So once you get on the bus and you're rolling, that's when you pay your ticket. But as you can see, the seats are really nice. It's a nice, clean bus. It's pretty much equivalent to taking a bus at home, you know, like you would be a Greyhound or, you know, uh, one of those long distance uh, bus services, Amtrak, you know, that they provide and so forth. The buses are pretty much the same, you know, it's clean air condition you can you know recline the seats and everything so it's definitely uh very comfortable and very worth it especially if you're going to save like 60 or 70 dollars which you can use that money towards doing other things other activities or going other places and so forth i mean some plane ticket prices flying out of the philippines at particular airports can be 80 bucks round trip you know what i'm saying that's going to another island so if you wanted to kind of venture out you'd have the opportunity to do that now here we are looking at Manila City, um, and and basically Manila is normally busy. Um, could be because it's still early in the morning, but it it's kind of empty right now. I think partial had to do with the coronavirus, um, the or the COVID situation that's going on, and I think um, partial because it wasn't a lot of tourism. Um, this time when I went March is like the hot, you know, it's like summertime out there, so it's normally a lot of tourism. Um, this in particular, uh, it wasn't really a lot of people, which was a great trip for someone like myself because it wasn't a lot of people there, you know. So um, when it's not a lot of people there, you can do more. You can negotiate more. You can get more accomplished and so forth. So, um, you know, as I'm riding, this, it was about a two hour ride, which was, like I said, very comfortable, um, nice AC. Um, I got a little bit of footage of the city. And out on the countryside on my way out to my destination and so forth so you know um i know the camera angles are a little different uh like i said i was just recording and you know didn't realize that i was going to be loading this stuff up like how i am but that's okay it's the beginning um stuff is going to end up getting better uh, like i said for six or seven bucks compared to 65 to 70 dollars um you know and and, and pretty much you might have saved I don't know let's say if you got a, a ride you might save maybe 30 40 minutes i don't think 40 50 60 dollars is worth 40 minutes you know um, that's just my, my 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 opinion but here it is like i said as you see the city this is manila uh, a very bustling city but it really looked a little bit different it looked like low season which is the times that i normally travel i travel during low season and stuff like that so um it looked like low season i'm thinking more or less because a lot of people weren't traveling and, and it could be still early in the morning. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? But I know this is not the normal. Sometimes it would take 45 minutes to an hour from the airport just to get out of the city of Manila because of the traffic. You know, it has a lot of traffic. A lot of people um, work in the city of Manila. So it's it's it can be very crowded at times and so forth. So, um yeah, pretty much it. Like I said, more video, more footage of the city and so forth. Stay tuned for another video that I have. I'm going to show uh, basically what we had to endure on the way back to the airport when everybody was, you know, we had to leave on a moment's notice because the it was going to be a 72-hour lockdown or well, 72-hour cancellation or oh, 72 hours and they were going to cancel all of the international flights so technically we would have been stuck and there's people still there today that are stuck in the philippines um i was looking at a couple of reports right now and here's the thing the people that are stuck there now technically um they if they don't have they don't have a place to stay like some people i was hearing are sleeping outside which you know for one second you know based on how good this trip was going in the beginning i thought about missing that international departure and just staying and, and taking a later flight good thing i didn't because i will be still out there right now another thing i'm kind of glad i didn't do um, i'm glad i didn't venture out to other islands like i had planned to like i was going to palau on this trip but that was the first thing he canceled which was the um, domestic flights so i would have been stuck out there big time so fortunately everything worked out we were able to get tickets and so forth and we got up out of there in a reasonable well actually we got out there on the second day we got out of there the second day 
and uh, you know just heard the stories of what was going on. But all that information is going to be um, loaded up um, in the video. I mean, it, it'll be coming up in the video to come. So that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, this is Chris Tripp signing out, and you guys be safe in your travels.